Imagine if you were Travis Barker. How would you decorate your home, and how would you spend millions of dollars in the house? Hey guys, welcome back to the Famous Estate, where we talk about the amazing facts about the world of fame. Today, we're touring the home of the famous American musician Travis Barker. He serves as the drummer for the rock band Blink 182. He's also performed as a frequent collaborator with hip hop artists in a number of rap and rock groups. As a member of it too, Transplants founded the rock band Plus 144 and Boxcar Racer. And also after that, he joined Antimask and Goldfinger. He's currently in the hospital being treated for a case of pancreatitis, which left his new bride Courtney Kardashian overcome with worry. Travis Barker has opened the doors to their Zen Calabasas home just days after the legally tied the knot, and it has divided their fans. Travis has a large living room, an extensive swimming room, and a backyard. Travis also has room to rehearse a few drumming sessions. Not only that, but the home is so huge that his kids had plenty of adventures throughout each room and hallway. In a May 2022 Architectural Digest video interview, the All the Small Things rock star gave a full tour inside his beautiful oasis. The living room is outfitted with a custom sofa and lounge chairs by Waldo's Designs, a Liai Gray side table, a Mansour carpet, stools in the style of Pierre Charot, and a Rick Owens bronze vase. Whenever he comes home after long tours or long nights at the studio, this is a place where he rests his head, and the room is also filled with some of his favorite artists, two of which are Raymond Pettibone and West Lane. There are also his five favorite albums that changed Travis Barker's life. This Courtney got for him for Christmas. There are open doors, and we could see straight to the pool in the backyard. He bought this house 16 years ago when Travis Barker bought it. Its design was not his favorite. But Travis's kids learn how to ride bikes. They skateboard through the long hallways. There is also a formal dining room where they talk about how much Travis works, how much Courtney works, and how his kids are doing in school. They put their phones away and eat delicious vegan foods. A big table could fit the whole family and guests easily. There's also a big kitchen, and in an interview, he said that he makes the best matcha. And there is a matcha station that contains everything. The wall here used to be very difficult, then just having an arcway where we could walk through the windows. And these windows are more like a wall with selected windows through which an amazing view can be seen. Previously, Travis Barker lived in Bel Air Crest and had a three-story home. And that time, he had three children. And it was just they had elevators, and it was just too much for them. So this new modern home is a one-story house that is just under 10,000 square feet, and it was just so convenient to have the indoor and outdoor. The house has a TV room where Travis Barker spent the holidays. They spent New Year's Eve here and they played games. It was so for them like a 1,500-piece puzzle that took days to finish. This room has vaulted ceilings and used to look way different, so they got rid of all the recesses lighting and flattened everything out here making everything like clean lines very minimal and easy to live in. They brought ceilings up in every room as high as they could. The entertainment room contains a ping pong table that is all cement. A heavy team of eight people installed this table during quarantine, where they would play ping pong every day and have the coolest ping pong tournaments. This room also has a cool piece of art, a lamp Travis designs with a buster and pinches with a little skull, and some books like a pettibone book. Travis Barker is a big collector of BMX bikes. Most of the bikes are at his studio. He has about 25 of them. The modern house has a studio that Travis built during quarantine. He did all his recordings remotely from here, wrote Bloody Valentine, wrote most of Jaden's album, and played on everyone's albums here. There is an electronic drum kit, a roll-in kit, his kids' records, and a vocal booth. He would work here till 4 or 5 in the morning. His main instrument by far is the drums. Still, he has old Juno and Roland, has multiple guitars and bass. He can play everything, just enough to produce and write music. There is also a movie theater where he likes to watch UFC fights and movies. There are also dance parties with massive amounts of people in this room at times. It also has 100 speakers in this room that got tuned so that it would sound like a movie theater. And there are also huge comfortable couches just like a bed. In Travis's bedroom where he rests his head and sleeps, there's a fireplace with a handy remote. He loves having fireplaces on. It gives him a feeling of the cabin. There's an amazing plate that Courtney painted for him. There are also portraits and photos of his family and other memories. The room has a closet that contains vintage t-shirts, a lot of like fleece, sweatshirts, sweatpants, and his shoes. 
The indoor living area is the space where Travis loves feeding his dogs and just having one-on-one -on -one time with them. He has four Frenchies like cooking vegan hot dogs and burgers out here. They usually eat here on the table. There is a swimming pool and backyard here. When he remodeled a home, he never touched the pool. Travis's kids learned to swim in this pool. They've spent every summer in this pool. He has ridden BMX bikes into the pool. He has ollied and skateboarded into that pool and has put scaffoldings over it. They had parties in the backyard. His garage contains many luxurious cars, including a Buick Grand Nation GNX, the G-Wagon, a 4x4 Square, the Escalade perfect for his kids, and the Cadillac. He loves the car he tattooed Cadillac down his ribcage and the Rolls Royce. Travis Barker likes driving cars, and he's a car guy. It was your tour at the house of Travis Barker. Let us know in the comments what you think about this house. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and share, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos about the world of fame. See you in our next video, and until then, stay safe.